Richie, Bullets and Broadheads, I got my custom Glock out today. You see me shooting this, so I'm not going to do a shooting video today. What I am going to do is groupings. People get really crazy about having a super tight group. And that's okay if you come into the range and you're doing uh, trigger press control and you're breathing and you want to really tighten up, see what the gun can do. But in the real world, when you take a class, you're not going to have great groupings, okay? I've taken classes, I've given classes with shooting. And this right here, if you can see it, you know, people may say, well, you know, it's like a four or five inch group. That ain't that great. It is great when you're fast shooting under stress and, you know, people want everything in the red. Well, let me tell you, if you're cons consistently shooting everything in the red, you're not training hard enough, okay? You have to keep pushing yourself. Go faster. Go further out, you know? Good groupings are good, don't get me wrong, but you can't be just going in a range and that's all you're focused on is good groupings because that's not real-world shooting for self-defense. For self-defense, you want things center mass. You're going to have a six, seven inch group, and that's good. That's good. You know, go to take a class, and you, when you go take a class, and you train with, so I train with some good instructors, and when they're doing under stress situations, you know, coming from concealed carry especially, they're not all in the red. They have a good group, but it's, you know, it's usually about a five inch group, and that's great at seven, 10 yards. That's a great grouping. People think that if you're an NRA instructor or you're this or you're that or you have a school that every time you shoot, you're going to be in the red. That's not true because when I'm shooting consistently all in the red during the class, I'm not pushing myself. I'm going either too slow and I have to go faster than push myself to a failure point where what point, what skill level am I at? You know, so don't get go to the range and consistently, consistently try to get that great grouping because that's a bad thing. Because then you're going slow and you're doing, you know, you're not doing defensive type of tra training. It's good to go to the range and do it every now and then. You see in my videos, I show you my groupings, but that's just to show you what the gun can do, not what I can do. When I rapid fire and all that, I'm not all in the red. Very rarely, very rarely. You know, it's just like some days you have great days, some days you have bad days. But that's real-world shooting. Real-world shootings. Sometimes what I do is I, I just take a blank piece of cardboard, no target whatsoever, no red dots, no nothing, and I just shoot, draw it and shoot. And if I'm a thin center mass, that's a good grouping, okay? Because when you use a weapon of self-defense, when you line up these sights, it's not going to be focused on a red picture. It's going to be focused on... Uh, a set of mass of what are you hitting. So train that way once in a while. Forget about these targets. Forget, just put a big place, big place of, uh, big piece of cardboard up and shoot into the cardboard like an Ipsic target and then see where your groupings are. Believe me, it changes a lot. So good groupings, they're not necessarily a good thing all the time. You know, I come here sometimes and when a new gun especially, I just, my first maybe magazine, I'll see, you know, how my trigger press is and how's everything going. But after that, you know, when I'm really shooting here, I don't film it a lot because it's hard to film and do, do it, you know, type of drill. But uh, my groupings are not, they're a lot bigger than this. Let's put it that way. So good groupings. Don't get crazy and focused on your groupings all the time because if you're consistently doing that, you got to push yourself more. Go out a little further. Go a little faster. And then when you start getting all over the place, that's your skill level. That's what you got to focus on then. Okay? So take a class. Believe me. I, have, I know guys who come to the range and they're a much better shot than me. And I taught them into taking the class. And you know what? They fall apart. They're not used to going faster. They're not used from drawing from a holster even. They're just used to coming here, pressing out the gun, and taking shots. And when it's under a stressful situation or 
you're running or moving, they fall apart. And you know what? That that's not a good thing for self defense. I'm talking. I'm not talking competitive shooting here. I'm talking self defense, real world. Okay. You gotta push yourself every now and then at the range, right? Don't get focused on these groupings where, ah, oh, man, I was I was an inch out of the red. That, that, that that's not a good thing. Okay. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you guys. You know. You know, when I come to the range, when I give a new student in class and they have a grouping, like a six, seven inch grouping, and they get all depressed because they got one in the red, but the rest is like an inch or two outside, I go, that's a great grouping. What are you upset about? That is a fantastic group. Don't worry, you just got one in the red, but the rest are right around the red. Okay? So good groupings can be bad if that's all you're focused on. So I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say is every now and then you got to push yourself. See where your skill level is at. At a certain yardage, you start falling apart, that's your skill level. At a certain speed, when you speed up, you start falling apart, that's your skill level. That's where now you got to train, you know, better at that. So, Richie Bulletin Board has a quick little video on groupings. You know, I, I show you what the gun can do, not what I can do. Because when I really take a class, my groupings are not like this, okay? Even the best trainers, you know, I, I train with some really good people, well-known people. And when they, when they do things really, really fast, you know, their groupings like this, you know, it's not always in a red, you know. Yeah, when they take, slow it down and they demonstrate, yeah, they're, they're good. <laughs> but when they do a real-life drill, you know, they're, they're going their max, their maximum speed. Uh, they they want to show you... Uh, you know what they can do and believe it or not they're not always in a red but they are real close so richie bullets your breadheads over and out